Hey guys, I'm Ashu from Tech Infinity, and today I'm going to review the Zook ZUI. Now, I own the Z2 Plus, it is a really good phone, really great phone with Snapdragon 820 at 12,000 rupees. That is seriously a great deal. But now, some people really have a problem with this phone because the ZUI seems to be a little cluttery, as according to some people. But I really don't think that's the case because Although it is not up to the mark as a Snapdragon 820 performance, but it's still a pretty snappy UI. Plus the Indian version comes pre-installed with the Google Now Launcher and I have pre-installed the tweaked version of the Pixel Launcher on it, so I'm having a good time. And of course, if you are bored of the Z UI, you can definitely root it. So right now, in today's video, let's go ahead and see some pros and cons of Z UI. Alright. So first and foremost, the bloat there is no not much of bloatware here. The dialer app and everything is pure stock. Um, compass. I must say this UI looks very much like the iPhone, like the iPhone's compass. Then we have voice recorder settings. I'll get back settings later. Share it is also a stock uh, uh, pre-installed app here, and of course camera. Now, um, yeah, now the notification panel here is from the bottom, which was really, really annoying at first, but now I realize it is actually more convenient because it's easier to reach down the at the bottom of the screen than the top. Although it's a small phone, but still, why stretch your fingers when you can just have it at your fingertips, right? So, this is really convenient. And plus, you have the notification shade here. Now, one big, big drawback of ZUI is that the notification shade here, although very beautiful, but lack many, many of the necessary features of Nougat. Although this phone is running under Nougat, there are no detailed notifications, nothing. There is no way to reply directly, nothing. So that's really, really annoying. But it's it's fine. You can still manage. Okay, now the performance on this phone is pretty good. I can uh, assure you that. Now benchmark score was one like thirty-five thousand, so that was really good. But that was not the direct score. When I did my benchmark, I got a score of one like eleven thousand rupees, and I was kind of disappointed because eight twenty should give like thirty thousand, forty thousand score, one like forty thousand score. But then I noticed there is a gimmick feature over here, which is actually kind of nice. In additional settings, accessibility, we have something called the overclock mode. This accelerates the phone's performance to the max of Snapdragon 20 single cryo core 2.3 GHz. So that definitely boosts the performance, gaming and benchmark scores. So it's good to turn it on when you want to do benchmark. So I got one like 35,000 score which is more than Samsung Galaxy S7 Edge is 29,000. But definitely less than one plus five, one plus three T. That is one fifty five fifty five thousand. But that is an eight twenty one phone, so it seems fair. And it's I must say Z two plus is a mini one plus three. It has everything that you have in one plus three in a smaller package. Now the camera, the camera app here is pretty good. I mean, uh, it's pretty simple. We have a manual mode where you can control ISO, with white balance exposure manual focus etc then uh, we have uh, slow motion hdr panorama time lapse etc the camera quality is decent enough if you use the flash if you use the flash it is almost as good as the best cameras out there but without the flash it's an average camera So that's it. Now reading the update, I just got one update after receiving this phone that is Android Nougat. It's pretty good, but not up to the mark as I told you because it lacks many of the features of Nougat. Now multi window is there. You can uh, push any app into multi window and you can choose the other app from a section over here. 
as you can see it was a little study down there because I'm doing screen recording and there are some apps running in the background so it's a good phone but if you want to unleash the full potential of 820 I recommend rooting but that will void your warranty so do it at your own risk that's it there's also a night color available here which makes the screen look much more better and much more beautiful and that's it so this was the ZUI signing off please like and share the video if you and please subscribe if you are new